This rather unexpected and interesting video was inspired by a chap called Clint J, who got in touch regarding the Poundland GU10 lamps and said they glow on 12 volts. And he's right, they do. They glow dimly on 12 volts. And that got me thinking, do the other lamps do that as well? So I tried a whole selection of GU10 lamps and just under half of them work on 12 volts. Not obviously at full brightness, but um, at a modest brightness. Now this one is interesting because this one lights, uh, if you get the polarity correct, because these most of them just have a single diode. This one lights brightly and then it goes out, but it draws quite a lot of current. This one's the odd one out. I'm not sure it's in this one. I may have to pop that open. But this is a Cobb style lamp. Uh, this one is a generic uh, LED lamp. Get the polarity the right way around. And annoyingly, this one, only two of the LEDs glow because it's obviously because because of the low current, it's not, it, one of the LEDs is a bit duff and probably only comes on when you turn the intensity up. So I'll just uh, maybe play with that later. But certainly in 240 volts, they'd all have lit. But I reckon that's just a duff LED. Um, on this one, this is a, a recent one that I've still to do a video on. And it's a hydroponic lamp. Is it a hydro? Yes, this is a hydroponic one. Get the polarity right. And this one lights effortlessly and brightly um, on the 12 volts and it, these lamps are tend to stay lit and turn the voltage down now I'm down at 8 volts and it's starting to tail off down to 5 and it just cut out about 5.4 there and it's not going to light until it gets up to about 10 volts, and then it suddenly lights, which does suggest it is the, it's it's not just leaking through a buck regulator or something like that. So from the same place as this one came from, so I'm guessing similar circuitry, this is a warm white one, very stylish, I like this one. And it's got an interesting retaining system. Uh, this will be covered in another video. And this one on 12 volts, uh, turn the voltage up to 12 volts. Again, because I'd left it down low. Uh, this one, and get the polarity right. This one lights quite brightly. It's actually a useful amount of light. And these lamps, uh, although it's 12 volts, they're only drawing about, say this one's drawing 9 milliamps. So that's uh, 12 volts times 0 0.009 equals about 0.1 watt. So it's not that much, but it's still, you know, you could easily read by that. And then unexpectedly, I, I picked this one up and I thought, is this just, you know, using the capacitive dropper? Because the lamps that use the capacitive droppers won't work in the 12 volts because there are so many LEDs in the series, the combined voltage will be too high. But I randomly picked this one up and I thought, oh, this, this isn't going to work. And quite the opposite. This one uh, is bright, very bright. It's drawing 6 to 8 milliamps. So that's um, 12 volts times 0 0.068 equals, so this one's drawing just under a watt, and I have to say, I point this at the wall at the other end of the room, and it lights the wall. So um, this one's running very brightly. So um, that that's all very interesting, quite uh, novel. Now let's see this one. This one has an unscrewable end, so let's pop it open and see what sort of uh, power supply it's got. Is it based on the chip? No, well, the clue is that transistor there and the little surface mount transistor. Th these are just basic switching regulators without the chip. It's just um, a self-feedback type thing where there's a secondary winding that actually provides feedback. And these usually have a resistor that turns on the transistor to just to start it. So I'm guessing that it's enough to actually kick these into action. Um, let's see. Let's open one of these. Uh, this this one, let's see. Uh... Oh wait, no, this is the um, this is the Poundland one. Uh, what about this one? Is this going to have the little... Uh... Yep, yeah, let's open this one. And we'll see what sort of power supply it's got inside it. and see if it's based on the chip. I'm guessing that any of these units based on the bright power uh, three, uh, 3102, is it? 
probably won't light at the lower voltage because they have a, a power supply circuit that requires that the voltage reaches a specific level before they'll kick start. And it's modestly high, so that might be stopping them operating on 12 volts. But uh, other lights may just be using, uh, they might be using the newer chip, which uh, doesn't have that power supply uh, in it, the feedback winding. Um, or they may just be using discrete circuitry. Let's see what's in here. This is just one of those little um, step-ups. Oh no, there is a chip in this. And a transistor. What's that about? Okay. That's a wee bit unexpected. A lot of support components, so this is not one of the super minimalist chips. I wonder what that is. I may have to explore that and uh, I shall find the numbers and I shall put them right here. Yeah, interesting. But it's quite novel, it's quite interesting that uh, these um, lamps will operate at that low voltage. It, it means that if you've got a caravan or something, or an application you want just a low level illumination at night, you may be able to use a standard mains voltage LED lamp to do that.